Sadio Mane from humble beginnings to the top of the football world. The Liverpool star Sadio Mane had a really hard upbringing but has gone on to live his dream of being a professional footballer. Not only that, he plays for one of the biggest clubs in the world and he has to be in the top 100 players best footballers in the world today and just recently he played a huge part in Liverpool being crowned the Kings of Europe. Sadio Mane is a main star in the Liverpool starting 11, but just recently there have been some really big rumours noting that Mane may be on his way to Real Madrid if a deal can get done during this transfer window. And it would be a huge loss for Liverpool if that deal does go through. But from what we've heard, rumours that have been going around, Mane is happy to stay at Liverpool. And why wouldn't he be? He won the UEFA Champions League this past season and almost won the Premier League. And I'm sure the one thing that he would love to get before he leaves English football is that Premier League trophy. But today, I've got 10 things you probably didn't know about Sadio Mane. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Make sure to click on the notification button the bell button and become a part of the notification squad number 10 no money like i said at the start of the video mane had a really hard upbringing so much so that his parents never had enough money to send him to school growing up sadio mane lived with his uncle and his parents and they had a lot of children in the house and they could not meet his basic financial needs as a young kid mane has gone on to say in interviews my parents never had money to send me to school every morning and evening i would always go to play football with with my friends. Number nine, his turning point. After playing years and years of football with his friends out on the streets and out in pitches that didn't have grass, they had mud all over him. But in 2002, Mane found his inspiration to become a footballer, and it was during the 2002 World Cup. Senegal made it to the World Cup for the first time ever and they entered the quarterfinals in their first appearance in the world's biggest competition. And it was at that moment Mane knew he wanted to become a footballer. He wanted to take football seriously and now look at where it has led him, playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world today. Number 8 no alcohol. Sadio Mane is one of the best players in the Premier League, but the only differences between him and other Premier League players is that he will not touch or drink alcohol. Number seven, the third. Sadio Mane is the third footballer from the country Senegal to play for Liverpool Football Club. Following his arrival back in 2016, there were only two previous Senegal stars that played for Liverpool. And both those players were signed in the summer of 2002. And it was 14 years before Liverpool signed another player from the country of Senegal. Number 6, one of four. Sadio Mane is one of only four African players to score in a European Cup slash Champions League final. Crazy to think that with the hundreds and hundreds, thousands of players that have come from the African countries that have played football. The others include Magia from Porto in 1977, the legendary Samuel Eto'o for Barcelona in 2006 and 2009, and Didier Drogba for Chelsea in 2012. And Mane scored in the 2018 UEFA Champions League final when Liverpool played Real Madrid. Number 5, fastest Premier League hat trick. Sadio Mane holds the record for the fastest hat trick in Premier League history. Mane netted three times during his time at Southampton in May of 2015. Southampton were playing Aston Villa and in just 176 seconds, that's exactly 2 minutes and 56 seconds, Mane scored three goals. It was absolutely incredible to watch that live, I still remember it to this day, and his rapid goal scoring smashed the previous record set by Liverpool great Robbie Fowler at 4 minutes and 33 seconds against Arsenal many years back. So Mane did it in really less than half the time that Robbie Fowler could get his hat trick. Number 4, Religion Motivation. When Mane signed for Liverpool, he gave a sit down interview. He really opened up about his motivation in football. And that one main motivation is religion. 
Mane went on to say, religion is very important to me. I respect the rules of Islam and I pray five times a day always. Senegal is 90% Muslim and maybe 10% Christian and everyone lives side by side in harmony as friends. My best friend Luke was a Christian and we used to get along and we used to visit each other's houses all the time. One of the things that has pushed me on in life ever since I was young is that I want to give something back specifically to my region and the region that Mane was brought up back in Senegal. Number three, angry fans attacked his family. This is absolutely disgraceful. And angry fans once attacked Sadio Mane's family. After Mane missed a vital penalty, the one penalty that sent Senegal out of the Africa Cup of Nations. His home fell under attack by angry fans. His relatives fled to his house in Malika, in his hometown of Senegal. And one person that was there to witness it said they turned their fury on the car and completely trashed it. So much so, this really got the people of Senegal, the football fans, so angry that soldiers and policemen had to step in to save Mane's family. So much so that they gave him 24 hours of full protection at their house to make sure that they were safe. Number two, his mentor. Sadio Mane's mentor is actually his coach, Liverpool's coach, Jurgen Klopp. Mane has gone on to say really nice things about Klopp. He's gone on to quote, In my head, I knew that I was coming to a team that wanted me. This was just after Mane signed for Liverpool during his time at Southampton. To a manager who knew me well and has taken me like a son. And the Senegal star has much respect and love for Klopp and they have gone on to win a UEFA Champions League together. It doesn't get any better than that. And number one, he ran away from home. Like I said, the 2002 World Cup was a huge inspiration for Mane. And it was the exact point where he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to become a footballer. But the Liverpool forward revealed an incredible story about how he ran away from his small hometown at the age of 15 to try and make it as a footballer. So much so that he left without ever telling his family. Mane has gone on to explain during an interview with Liverpool's official YouTube channel. Mane went on to say, when I told my family I wanted to be a footballer, they didn't want me to. I packed my luggage one day. I spoke to someone who was like my dad, trying to help me all the time. I told him, I want to leave this city to go to Dakar. Can you help get me money to go? Nobody knew. I didn't even tell my mum or uncle. My friend gave me money and I just packed all my luggage and went. I went to Dakar and for one week, no one knew where I was. My mum called every day. Everyone was panicking. So my friend said, he left to go to the car. They sent someone to catch me and bring me back. No one in my family ever believed that I would become a footballer. And he proved everyone wrong and went on to become a professional footballer. And right now, today, Mane is living his dream. And that is the 10 things you probably didn't know about Sadio Mane. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you all on my next video.